Dear friends, welcome to the monthly outlook on markets. Markets are continuing to respond to the short term inflationary pressure and its potential impact on central bank policies. In the short term, Red Sea crisis has further impacted global trade and also performance of some corporates dependent on exports. Logistic costs have inched up by 200% from the recent lows and can have some inflationary led impact in the short term. However, we believe inflationary pressures have peaked out barring some short term temporary concerns. We are just past the quarterly results of corporates. By and large, performance has been in line. One important takeaway has been that the operating profit is now converging with top line. However, PAT is still holding up. BSE 500 Top line remains subdued at 5-6% growth YOY, similar to what we saw in the first half of this fiscal year. However, operating profit growth, which was very strong in the first half of this fiscal year at 29%, has dwindled to about 15%. This is mainly due to fading input price tailwinds and operating deliverage. Pat growth, however, has held up very strongly. With this, let us now dwell into how different sectors have performed. Let's start with consumption. Performance here has been a mixed pack. Demand has been strong in SUVs, two-wheelers, jewellery, hotels, aviation, consumer durables. Staples demand has stabilized now at lower levels. We believe rural demand should start to improve as the negative impact of high inflation starts to recede. Let us now move on to a very important sector which is manufacturing and investments. Real estate companies, companies beneficiary of government capex, reported very strong performances. Cement companies' profitability too has improved very meaningfully. However, we still are awaiting improvement in companies that are dependent on industrial capex, like abrasives, bearings, and other consumables. We believe it is only a matter of time that we start to see improvement in the private capex as well. Global exporters. Pharma companies reported a very strong quarter with improvement in US generic pharma cycle. IT companies reported in-line results, while chemicals suffered a deep contraction in both top line and profits. Going ahead, with global destocking cycle at the bag end, it should start to put a floor to exporters' earnings, which are impacted by this destocking cycle. Let us now move on to financials. Banks' net interest margins expectedly moderated, and OPEX actually stayed very elevated. However, credit growth is sustaining. Challenges on deposit front can continue to have an impact on net interest margins of the banks. Overall, performance of India Incorporate has been in line with estimates. Earnings outlook remain pretty much all right at the current point in time. In spite of all the global headwinds and moderate rural demand, election led slowdown may impact earnings in the short term. However, going forward, 
as margin led tailwinds are receding earnings will be driven by improvement in revenue growth we believe a sustained higher and secular growth will actually differentiate one versus another thank you